Uh, now let me speak about malocclusion. So obviously nobody is born with a malocclusion because malocclusion can only happen once the permanent starts erupting. Okay. So now let us take malocclusion as a process which can happen. So a process always has a start, mid and an end. So it is something which can start, which can progress and it can complete. So that's how your malocclusion as a process just goes on. So obviously when you speak of different branches of orthodontics, preventive, interceptive, corrective and surgical. Okay, these are different uh, branches of orthodontics. So this preventive takes a role basically when this process has not started. I mean, the malocclusion can, I told you, I have explained how basically the malocclusion can happen at different levels of dentition, at the teeth level, at the dental alveolar region and at just a single jaw or else a complete the jaw levels okay so obviously at whatever stage we see the patient we can install the corrective procedures or interceptive procedures to correct what's going wrong okay so even in a normal occlusion where for an example the jaw bases are normal even the dental bases are normal even the teeth are normal just for a simple reason that a loss of tooth material because of caries can create a mild position of the teeth if not malocclusion, just definitely a malposition can happen because of loss of space. So that generally happens when you have a lot of decay in the milk tooth. Okay, whenever we see patients uh, with lot of decay, say if a rampant caries patient or where most of the milk tooth are involved with caries, there is a severe space depreciation what we see. Okay, so such kind of patients when we see them for the first orthodontic visit, we always tell them we have to maintain this particular space for the erupting <coughs> sorry doctor okay. 